We are inside the El Chapo cabin doing our uh, little vlog here. And uh, wanting to make sure you guys get all the angles. I got the sliding door open as you can see and we're right by the road so it gets kind of loud. But it is very well insulated so if we had that glass sliding door closed it gets a lot quieter inside the cabin. We are now out on the front porch. Little swing here. Got your double pane windows with the argon glass. <clears throat> These are fully insulated cabins, guys, so <clears throat> you can live in them year round. Now for the folks that live up north where it's really, really cold, you probably want to go ahead and get our insulation upgrade because uh, if you're sub zero degree, you're going to want to get that insulation upgrade. We have insulation that already comes in the basic package, but you're going to want to beef that up. If you live up north in sub-degree, sub-zero degree temperatures, you're going to want to beef that up. Okay, so this is the living room area here. I just put that little electric heater there on the corner just to kind of give people a reference as to where most people will put their fireplace or their pot belly stove or their pellet stove. They'll usually put it in this corner and get it installed. Pipe will go up and out that way. As you can see, there's five windows here. Easy clean, double pane with the argon glass. And you can just see the quality of these things and how well they're built. Built by the Amish here in Southern Indiana, but we ship them all over the country. We ship to the lower 48, everywhere but Alaska and Hawaii. Okay, so let's walk our way down the hallway here. So this ladder here, everybody's like, oh, does that go up to a loft where I can put a bed? Well, it does go up to a loft, but it is a storage loft. It's not a livable loft. So it's not a loft where you can put up a bed. It's just for storage. So the right here is your front door. Once again, it goes out to the porch and to the left is where you'll put your, your bathroom, tub, toilet, and sink. Standard tubs, toilets, and sinks fit in here. Okay. Got you a wooden door here, handcrafted by the Amish. We're now inside the bathroom area. Remember, we do not put the bathroom fixtures in these Amish built cabins, but uh, pretty easy to do on your end, right? Home Depot, pick up your fixtures and local plumber can connect them or you can DIY it if you're a hands-on type of DIY customer. Over here, this is for a front-loading washer and dryer with extra storage underneath. Going down the hallway, open this door, and here's your bedroom. You got you a couple of closets in there. One mechanical room for your water heater, one small closet. But as I said in some of my other videos, most folks will combine these two and make one big closet with a barn sliding door on the front. That way, uh, we've even had people do that as well and put a half bath inside the master here so they don't have to share their main uh, bathroom with their guests. Okay, so we're walking back up. Once again, there's the front door. We're walking back to the living room area. You know, we tell people, you know, these are small homes, but I don't consider them tiny because this is uh, 560 square feet of living space, 14 by 40. And then outside, you got a six foot by 40 foot covered porch that goes the whole length of the front of the cabin. So these are small but mighty cabins, in my opinion. They are very livable, very comfortable. A lot of people right here will put a little, um, what do you call it, a, an island a little breakfast or dinner island nook so everybody can kind of gather around here and eat. To the right you've got room for your standard refrigerator, standard stove, and then you let us know what size sink you want to put in here. We'll cut that out for you and put you a hole for your kitchen sink. All the cabinets are included in the price point. So once again, this cabin is only $69,000 as it is. 
It is 79,000 if you want us to run the electric, because the Amish do not build them with electric, but if you want us to install the full electric package, outlets and everything, plug and play ready, it is 79,000. So it's an extra $10,000 for us to run the electric. So 69,000 for this cabin, the El Chapo model, without electric, 79,000 with electric. We don't just offer them with electric right off the bat because a lot of our customers are electricians and they know how to do the electric themselves. So we sell them this way. So in case someone wants to do the electric themselves, they can save a little bit of money. Okay. Let's go outside and walk around the cabin here. Give you the, give you all the angles here, guys. Give you all the angles. Should y'all get all the angles? Remember, those walls too are four by six inches thick, guys. Four by six timber stacked all the way up. Then you got that gray matter in between called permachink or chinking. That's what seals in between the logs to make your cabins as efficient as possible when you're running your heat and air, guys. That's what seals the cabin. That's what that gray stuff is between the logs. They call it chinking or permachink. Also, you got a 26 gauge metal roof up top. You got 12 different colors you can choose from. This one's obviously got a black metal roof on it. The one next door has got that hunter green. You are gonna need a concrete slab to put this cabin on. We'll put it on top of block on the slab. That way you're three foot high off the ground so your plumber can connect your septic. That's how we set 99.9% .9 of these cabins. Every once in a while you got somebody with a crawl space or basement or block foundation you want to put it on top of. You can do that too guys. But you got to have a crane on site to strap this cabin up to hoist it up in the air to put it on top of a block or basement foundation. We can't set those for you but we can set it as long as you got a six inch concrete slab with that rebar in it for some uh, to give that concrete some structural integrity. We ship these all the way out west to California and all the way east to Vermont and down south to Florida, Texas and Arizona guys. So we ship them all over the country. This is a neat solution for somebody looking to either monetize their land as an investment, you know, as a uh, real estate investment opportunity put a couple of these on your land and rent them out as airbnbs vrbos cabin rentals so it makes a whole lot of financial sense to a lot of people looking to uh, beef up their finances for retirement you can uh, put a bunch of cabins on there and rent them out a lot of our customers are doing that to make that money now so if you're looking to uh invest your money into something passively a lot of people buy these cabins to do just that they will buy these cabins as a way to grow their investment portfolio. We had a, a couple, one of my first customers actually, they bought a couple of these out there in Tennessee and their plan is to do six of them as Airbnbs and VRBOs. So that way, uh, as part of their retirement portfolio. So they're gonna put these on their land. The goal is six of them and they're gonna rent them out and make that nice income for their retirement because as we all know, the regular social security, et cetera, is not gonna cut it for us now. So you gotta get a little bit creative to make sure you can maintain a nice standard of living uh, when that retirement time comes. So investing your money in hard assets like this, real estate for passive income makes a whole lot of sense to a lot of people. We have a lot of people too that are buying these and put them on land and flipping them. So they might buy a piece of land for say 20,000, buy the cabin from us, say all in, they're about 120 on the cabin when it's all said and done. So they're in 140, they're flipping them for a quarter million dollars and up. So lots of ways guys to uh, monetize your land, grow your uh, finances with real estate, real estate, real estate. And these cabins,